Ducati, who have won the previous two world championships with Francesco Bagnaia, finished in the top three, followed by Jorge Martin and Marco Bezzecchi. However, they now have an even more formidable lineup that included 2023 race winners like Enea Bastianini, Alex Marquez, and Fabio Di Gianantonio. After joining Ducati, Marc Marquez has already made an impression while testing in Valencia. Welcome to Bike GP. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Sporting director Paolo Chiabatti said they will need to handle the situation appropriately because Marquez is expected to be a title contender in 2024 alongside players like Bagnaia, Martin, and Bezecchi. We have to demonstrate our management skills, Ciabatti stated. We've demonstrated recently that we're capable of handling challenging circumstances and the battle between Lenovo and Pramac. Remember that there are seven Ducati course employees at Pramac, five at Grassini, and three VR46 employees. All riders are able to exchange data. Ducati believes it is something that it can manage. It should be intriguing, with perhaps a few more issues to deal with during the season. Ducati must take the best possible care of the situation. When it comes to sports, we are consistently fair. Some cry team orders. But in Qatar, Fabio Di Gianantonio prevailed because he was deserving of the victory, as he did in several previous circumstances. This is our stance, our plan, our way of thinking. We'll make an effort to handle it as best we can. Chiabatti also mentioned Bastianini, following the Italian's impending loss of his seat at the firm to Martin. Chiabatti was the one who initially acknowledged that this was a possibility, but he has since backed Bastianini to return to his best in 2024, after Martin was unable to win the title. According to Chiabatti, he moved from the Grassini team to the factory team, which is the target for any rider. Remember that his crew chief needed to get along with Marco Rigamonti because he chose to attend KTM. The collision in Portugal had extremely grave repercussions. Surgery was required to realign the collarbone, and the shoulder fracture required time to heal. Additionally, track time and muscle must be restored. He didn't have enough track experience to comprehend how the bike differed from the one he rode the previous year. Also, need to adjust to various work contexts. Just as we were beginning to see some light at the end of the tunnel, he crashed in Barcelona. Very, very regrettable. Enea is among the fastest riders, as he demonstrated last year, and he will be able to reach his full potential the next year. In preparation for the 2024 MotoGP season, Marc Marquez has disclosed that he has had arm pump surgery. Within 24 hours of his thrilling Grassini Ducati debut at the Valencia test, the eight-time world champion underwent a right forearm surgery. Due to a reduction in blood flow, compartment syndrome, also referred to as arm pump, causes pain and numbness in the forearm. The majority of MotoGP riders have undergone surgery at least once to address the issue. But until recently, Marquez's condition was unknown. I've had compartment syndrome in my right arm for the second half of the season. We solved the problem this morning with Dr. Ignacio Roger de Oña and their team to be ready for 2024. When preseason testing in Sepang in February gets underway, Marquez, who finished a tight fourth fastest in the Valencia test, will be back on his Desmo Sedici GP23. Marquez's upper right arm had previously required four rounds of surgery as a result of complications arising from a fracture sustained at the 2020 Spanish Grand Prix. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos of MotoGP. Thanks for watching.